The final images we have. Queen Elizabeth II still carrying out duties into her final days. On Tuesday at Balmoral, she welcomed the new Prime Minister. These photos, the record of her last official engagement, bringing to an end seven decades of service. Yesterday afternoon at Aberdeen Airport, several senior members of the royal family arrived to be with the Queen. The Duke of Cambridge drove the Duke of York and Earl and Countess of Wessex to Balmoral. Prince Charles, the new King, was already there with his wife and his sister, Princess Anne. Harry, the Duke of Sussex, arrived separately later in the evening. Here in the UK this week with his wife for a number of charity events, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, did not accompany him to Scotland. At 6.30, in a statement of just 26 words, Buckingham Palace announced the Queen had died peacefully earlier in the afternoon. As is tradition, the statement was attached to the palace gates by two footmen as tribute to Britain's longest reigning monarch began. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. She was the very spirit of Great Britain and that spirit will endure. She has been our longest ever reigning monarch. It's an extraordinary achievement to have presided with such dignity and grace for 70 years. And with the passing of the second Elizabethan age, we usher in a new era in the magnificent history of our great country, exactly as Her Majesty would have wished, by saying the words, God save the King. And heartfelt words too from the leader of the opposition. For the vast majority of us, the late Queen has been simply the Queen, the only Queen, above all else, our Queen. As we mourn her loss, we should also treasure her life, our longest serving and greatest ever monarch. Above the clashes of politics, she stood not for what the nation fought over, but what it agreed upon. Cheered by onlookers, one of the Queen's last royal engagements was in July, with her daughter Princess Anne opening a new state-of-the-art hospice in Berkshire. But these kinds of visits have become rare over the past year. As the Queen relied on her walking stick, her mobility compromised. The royal household had tried to adapt to keep her active and visible. A golf buggy at the Chelsea Flower Show helped the Queen stay comfortable but she had become noticeably thinner and frailer, something that severely limited her involvement in her own platinum jubilee, although her sense of fun as part of those celebrations was undiminished. Perhaps you would like a marmalade sandwich. I always eat one for emergencies. So do I. I keep mine in here. Happy Jubilee moment. And thank you for everything. That's very kind.